Hi everyone! Welcome to Dolls in the Cradle. My name is Anne. It is a Saturday and today we are going to be participating in Silicone Saturday. And I've got this sweet, precious little girl. Look at her. Look at her jiggle. Look at her jiggle. Um, she is going to be um, getting a clothes change uh, in today's video. And I am going to change this sweetie here from a girl to a boy. Because I see boy in her a whole lot more than girl and I think that if I did that um, I would you know enjoy enjoy this sculpt a little bit more okay so this is a partial silicone and she is a scan um, she is a real born as well so she's a scan of a real baby from Bountiful Baby <laughs> She was then painted and brought to life by Misty from Kits to Cradle. And, okay, so along with this video, oh my gosh, is this tripod pad? Why do I keep doing that tripod? Is this tripod moving again? I think that it is. Y'all, I really, I really got to get a different, um, tripod like my old one the the two that I'm working with they they sway you know if I if I breathe too hard it goes I tell you what but anyways I'm also going to be doing a tag I don't do very many tags on the channel and this is one that I wanted to do simply because things are starting to bloom here things are starting to bloom in Savannah Georgia now, I don't know, you might have um, snow and stuff where you're at, but you can do the tag in appreciation of and looking forward to even seeing the first glimpse of spring weather come your way. Where I am already seeing the effects of spring weather come in and just seeing, where is the zipper? Oh my gosh seeing the azaleas, seeing my Japanese magnolia um, already in bloom, along with a couple of other plants. I even see some Johnny Jump Ups popping up in the backyard. So that's pretty cool. So I, I am feeling, I'm, I'm definitely feeling springy. <laughs> Does that mean I have a spring in my step? I just don't know. But, okay, so... Let me see if I can get this off of her. There we go. Okay. Take that down and I'm going to ask the first question. So um, this is going to be 10 questions. I'm also going to leave the questions in the comment section below. No, 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 no. I'm going to leave the 10 questions in the description of the video. So if you don't have a channel and you would like to answer the questions, which I would love if you decided to do that. I know it takes a lot of time, but... Um, and if you have a channel, if you'd like to do the tag, that would be cool. Um, so here it goes. The first, and this is our, uh, um, our spring fling <laughs> tag for 2024. Uh, the first question is, what is your favorite spring activity? What is your favorite spring activity? Okay, so I think 
my favorite spring activity. I'm sure I have several, but I'll give one that I absolutely love. And that is gardening. Uh, for those of you that don't know, I do love to garden. I love to not only plant flowers, um, but I also love to help my father do a vegetable garden. And so I did not help him do the vegetable garden last year because he had it already exactly how he wanted. He wanted to do it himself. And God bless him, he did it. And he did a really, really good job with it. Um, but this year I will be helping him. This little outfit is the one I'm going to be putting on him. So yes, we just went from a girl to a boy. And this is a Carter newborn. It still has the tag, so for Bella Blessing, I am popping tags, and for JUK, new clothes. All right, let me remove. I don't want any little prickly things in here with the silicone doll. So definitely... My favorite thing is looking at seed catalogs, and y'all, I already got three or four of them in, so it's so much fun to look through them, and then I had to really keep myself from going to the garden center, <laughs> um, because I know they're already getting in plants at the garden center and vegetables and such, and I had to prevent myself from doing that, because I do... Uh, want to wait or try to wait for the majority of it for like um, March the 1st and start planting things but I have a feeling I'm going to start planting things um, a whole lot sooner than that okay so the second question is would you rather attend a barbecue or a picnic and I would rather attend a picnic there is something very special about a picnic and it reminds me of when I was growing up. Um, we definitely, um, my family growing up, could appreciate a good picnic. And during the spring, because Easter um, is in spring, um, we always, always went on a picnic um, during um her little arm. Okay. I'm still getting used to silicone dolls. I am still getting used to them. And the partials are just really interesting, y'all. Because you can see, like, see what happens? All right, uh, take this off. Probably, I believe. You see the big gap that is happening right here on the doll? Like, I could literally pop that out. But if I do it any tighter, I mean, she would not have any mobility, or he would not have any mobility in his arms. Okay. All right. So yeah, definitely, definitely picnics because picnics are just so much fun. And it just reminds me so much of growing up. Number three, what is your favorite spring food? Um, Foods, you know, example, like that you would have at Easter, St. Patrick's Day, Cinco de Mayo. Or whatever you consider to be foods for spring. Put this little one here. So the first... <laughs> The first thing I think of, believe it or not, are, are Easter eggs. 
are definitely Easter eggs for spring um, because, you know, it brings back a lot of fond memories. And they're all tied in, I tell you, with my family um, going to picnics on, uh, during during Easter, especially, we would always go to a park. Uh, that was uh, the tradition when I was growing up, is Easter would always be at the park. And, um, oh man, of course, there would be colored boiled eggs for um, me and my siblings to find. Get your little hands in. But also, when I think of spring, I just think of lighter foods as well. Just, I don't know. I think of things like, um, more like um, sandwiches that have um, more, more vegetables and stuff on them than meat. I know that's crazy. Okay, uh, number four, do you garden? And do you have a green thumb? And yes, I do garden. And I have a fairly decent green thumb. Um, sometimes the things I plant don't come to fruition, to fruition, but the majority of the things that I plant uh, do. And especially, um, well, yeah, I think I do a pretty good job. I think I do a pretty good job. Number five, what is your favorite spring holiday? Um, Easter, for sure. Um, Easter is definitely my favorite spring holiday. Uh, once again, um, not only, you know, is everything blooming, the flowers are blooming, and everything is new, and even in nature, you know, nature takes off. Uh, wild animals are bringing forth their young and trees and plants and such are are blooming out so everything is new and almost like washed clean which just also goes with the um, with Easter itself um, if you are a believer in Christ then um, Easter of course is the resurrection and through that you know um, we all, have been given an opportunity where we can um, become clean and new in Christ. And um, yeah, so definitely so. What is number six is what is your favorite flower? My favorite flower is any flower that is yellow. So if it is a flower and it is yellow, then that is my favorite flower. Um, I, you know, I think I said this in another video, but I could literally, and I have planted like an entire yard, um, of just yellow flowers, um, of all different kinds. And when they bloomed out, they were fantastic. They were marvelous. They were beautiful. I think one of the most hardy yellow flowers that you could plant is a cone flower. Um, and oh my gosh, they come in different colors, but oh my God, I love it. The yellow ones, um, they have like the orange burnt center. Those suckers come back year after year after year. They're hardy. And when they bloom, they last like a long, long time and they can really take the heat because I live in a very hot place during the summer. Um, number seven, what is your favorite picnic items? So, okay. So let's go back. <laughs> To uh, my family going out um, on Easter, we would always go to a state park and have our Easter. And our, our Easter food always consisted of fried chicken, potato salad, pork and beans. And the pork and beans would be from the can, you know, the regular old pork and beans. Um, uh, <laughs> that's what we loved. There would be biscuits, and I can't even remember what we had for dessert, and then there would always be Easter eggs, so definitely 100% um, fried chicken, and believe it or not, it would be cold fried chicken, and I know some people are going, eh, but I actually really like um, cold fried chicken. 
All right, number eight, what is your favorite outdoor activity? So that would definitely be gardening. And number nine, what is your favorite spring break memory? I think I just told you guys it's going to state parks with the family, um, you know, having the, the, the big picnic and then just really remembering me and my brother just, you know, uh, you know, going through the state parks and, um, walking through the really, uh, cold, especially, uh, the really cold streams. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, and number 10, do you like to spring clean and why or why not? So no, I don't spring clean because I clean, do my spring cleaning as a winter cleaning. And I don't know, I do that like at the end of the year. To me, it's like um, uh, changing over to a new year. It's a new year. It's a new time, new plans, clean your house, get rid of junk that you don't use, um, clean your space and enter the new year, not just in mind, in your body, but with your home and being decluttered. So that's kind of um, when I do that. So, okay, y'all, look at little man. He just became a little boy. <laughs> and I love him so much better as a little boy. Oh, my gosh. Yes, he looks so good. I also have to say his varnishing on him is really, really nice. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with silicones. Y'all know that my other silicone that I have, uh, she came with shiny spots and she's just getting shinier and I know I have to send her in to get fixed. Um, but, uh, I've, I've noticed that he, uh, this, this little guy, um, I've had him since the summer, I believe, and, uh, I haven't had to powder him. I've never powdered this doll. As a matter of fact and he looks really good I can see right now just like tiny one two three little shiny spots and that ain't nothing right <laughs> did I say that ain't nothing that isn't anything I can fix that but uh, yeah he's got the cutest little hands let me show you his hands oh my gosh did I say I was gonna show you his hands I don't know if I can Ooh. Ooh. He, he's he got really pretty creasing and just his inside of his hands are so well done. So cute. So cute. Okay. Get up close there. Say hello. Hello, everyone. I am now a boy. I am a boy. And um, yeah, so I'm actually, I've got a name for him already. Um, his name is Caden. And that name just came to me just right now, just right now. When I looked at him like that, um, he said, my name is Caden. <laughs> so welcome Caden to the nursery. <laughs> and we will see you guys in our next video. Um, yeah. He's <laughs> so cute. You know, I was going to sell this doll, but I have decided not to. Especially now, I changed him into a boy. <laughs> I, uh, it's like having a brand new doll. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny when that happens? Um, I just didn't really feel it with her as a girl. But just changing her clothes just now, I don't know why I didn't try this earlier. But now, it's like, yeah, it's definitely like having a brand new baby. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching this video and spending a little bit of time with me on a Saturday. Um, so for the rest of the day today, I'm just going to be hanging out here at the house, helping my parents. And then um, today is Saturday and I go to the vigil mass at the Catholic Church. Um <sighs> Because I'm not a morning person. I know that sounds terrible, y'all. But um, I've always gone to the vigil mass in the evening. And it just works. So, anyways, y'all take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. Please remember that no act of kindness, no matter how small, is ever wasted. 
And, oh, Bubba. Do you guys want to see Bubba with me? Okay. Do we want to end the video, Bubba? Like this. We can show people how cute you are as a boy. Say hi. <laughs> Say hi. Oh, did you grow a tail? Oh, no, that would be Willow. Okay. Okay, Willow, you're always doing things. Hang on, y'all. Willow, come here. Come on. Come on. All right. Oh, here comes Oliver. And it's time to end the video. Cat love to everybody. Say kitty cat love to everybody. <laughs> Say kitty cat love. Oliver, look up, Mama. I mean, Mama. Look up, Oliver. Oliver said, Mom, stop. Okay, bye, everyone.